What's up, Madden 25 fans? Um, you know, here we are today breaking down the Giants playbook, and it's a really good playbook for passing, but what about running? Can we run the ball? Oh, yes, we can. We can actually run the ball out of one of the best passing formations in Madden 25. It's a single back bunch, and, and the play we're going to be focusing on a lot here is the halfback slash. And, and you know, common run defenses are 3 4 4 3 formations, so we're going to come out of four in a 3 4 basic defense and just show you the play. So, um,. Halfback Slash is going to do a great job uh, in terms of running the football. We're just going to snap the ball, and you see we're just going to run to the outside and basically almost like a sweep. And it's 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 automatic. Like, I don't know. I haven't seen. Let's, let me just try this. I'm going to shift my line right. I'm going to shift my linebackers right, and I'm going to run it just like I just said. And I want to see if they can blow it up. Like, yeah, eh, I guess you could, but then you have the cutback. But this is uh, it, it's a phenomenal run. You're just reading the defensive end. If he gets blocked then you could, I mean, you can always run this play in, in, off the center and get positive yards, but if they block that D tackle or D end over there, you're going to cut this play out probably 100% of the time. And, you know, 9 out of 10 times, you're going to get big, big time yardage. Uh, here you see we get to the edge there, and this is a money play. I mean, this is a really good run, guys. It's a really, really good run. Uh, if you wanted to, you could hold L2 at snap and cut it up field like that and then, you know, make a, make a little shake, wiggle sticks or something. But this run is our run to the right. And then I can flip it and run it to the left, and you see it, it's the same concept. It's just to the opposite side of the field. Not as good to the left, uh, and that's why we implemented this new uh, play that I like to like to use out of the bunch. The wide receiver end around. Yes, guys, it is still a, it's a very effective run, and uh, it's just called the end around. And what we're going to do, and this is why we have Hester. Uh, this is why we're using the Bears, because they have uh, Devin Hester, and we can put him there and allow him to run this play. So uh, what we're going to do is... Oh, excuse me, guys. What we're going to do is we're just going to slide protect to the left, and we're going to snap the ball. And we're just trying to get to the outside. That time, I don't know what happened. Let me see what... I don't know why that happened. But, anyways, let's try it again. Whoa, that's that's a glitch. I think when we slide protect to the left, it makes Cutler carry the ball. Wait, look at this. That's hilarious. That's awesome. So we can, like, do something with that, though. Cause like what we could do is we could like fake it with Cutler and then just oh that's cool oh dude we just found something on national live internet oh my gosh look at this watch this whoopsie it's <laughs> awesome oh man dude if the, if the Bears had a mobile quarterback if they had like a a Dennis Dixon on their bench oh dude look that that's pretty good that's pretty good okay but anyway so you could slide your line to the left if you want to run the quarterback end around. If you want to run the wide receiver in round, don't side protect. Just call the play. What? Why is he not hitting the ball? I don't understand why. Oh, I have to. Maybe I have to hold X. No. Why am I? Why is my dude not handing it off the ball? That's weird. What do I do? I don't know what I'm doing wrong either. What? Like this is? I think my game's hacked. What the heck? Let's, show, let's just try. Let's see if we can hand the ball off to the running back. I mean, this this run's gonna set up everything, guys. This this, this run of the forte right there is gonna set everything up. And then if we go to the end of the round, why is Color not giving Hester the ball? Does he have something against him or something? Is he still mad about the playoffs or? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Z boy must have hacked my my game. He must have like hopped on here and just be like, oh, they do have a mobile quarterback. They got Johnson. I forgot about that. They do have a world quarterback. That's cool. So we could we could make a we could, we could legit make a scheme out of this. Watch this. Let's see if we can hand him the ball. Johnson can get him the ball. That's right. But like, okay. So what you're gonna do with Hester? If you can actually get Hester the ball, uh, you're gonna take it. Oh my gosh, this is this is so weird. Like that's I, I think it has to do with like the line, line penetration they get. That is so crazy. That is so weird. But anyways, guys, I think hopefully it works on your game. But what's going to happen is you want to run. Oh, I can't even hand him the ball. I can't even hand off Hester the ball to show you what I'm talking about. This is so weird. National live internet. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, man, that is so funny. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh, my goodness. Um, anyway, let me, let me see if I can just maybe once. Maybe you can only call this play once a game. But anyway, if you get in the ball, you're just trying to get to the outside, and with with the with the effectiveness of the other play, it's gonna force them to start blocking people. So they're gonna start shifting guys to stop, 
you know, not only not only the runs, but the quick passes we can do for the bunch, which we're going to go over in a minute. But, okay, so we, we run slash, and like I said, you know, slash is really effective, and we can get, you know, a lot of good blocking on it, and it's, it's, it's really good. So then we audible to the end of the round, and if he actually hands him the ball off, which he doesn't, of course, but I mean, you see that it could it could be effective because they're going to start shifting to the right. But against a balanced defense, I'm my money's on this end around, guys. This is oh my, I guess hard to stop it. I mean, they're going to have to run commit. They're going to have to do something cra crazy, crazy that's going to leave them really open at other places. So this is a really good run. Oh, I just broke that guy's ankles. All right, so that's that. Now let's get let's go past that. Let's go into the next play. Spot dig. How to use the pass in the bunch. Well, on spot dig, all we're going to do is we're going to put Brandon Marshall on a zig route, and we're going to put Matt Forte on a streak. All right? The first read on this play is going to be Earl Bennett for a snap throw. You see, it's going to beat the cover three if you throw it as soon as the ball is snapped. Uh, if you wait, if you wait a little bit and you don't throw it, it's not going to beat cover three. It's going to get picked. So just know that. So if I, like here, for example, if I wait, okay, sit. Oh, no, it got intercepted. Why did that happen? I threw it too late. You had to throw it. like It's got to be like snap throw, like that quick. Um, so, so that again here. Only one. Okay. Uh, snap throw. You see, I mean, it's it's just something. I mean, if, if it's covered, don't throw it. I mean, that's, that's a rule of thumb. But, you know, that we like to have a flat route. We like having flat routes. Okay. So, your second ring on this play is your zig. You see, it's going to sit in a pocket against the stuff that the flats are going to cover. So if they cover flats, you're going to have the zig. It's just some, it's common sense. And Brandon Marshall is also, the zig is also going to beat man coverage. The reason being because of the, the pick we're creating in the spot dig with Hester's route. You see, we go, snap, go. He's going to beat man coverage. And we're able to just hurdle for days. And you see, that's the, kind of the two reads to the left. All right, let's go to the right side. Or the, that's, two, that's the reads to the right. Let's go to the... Let's go to the left. Uh, spot dig. It's same as last year with this Poco route. Just passing it to the left side. And you see it's still going to get open. Uh, and it'll probably be open for a long time, guys. It's a really effective route. But you're only going to throw it in off-coverage situations. You're not going to throw a spot dig. Spot dig is not a play we use when they press. All right, and then Forte out of the backfield for a last read. Just a late read. And just hit him out of the backfield. I mean, it's just simple. All right, just simple stuff. They can't, they can't guard everything. And, you know, you're mixing in your... Your wide receiver in rounds. Like I said, you you want to cut it up field with Hester. You don't want to have to. Ideally, you don't want to have to go wide. But sometimes you will have to go wide. See, because when you go wide, it's not as good blocking. But if you but when you cut it up immediately, when you cut it up immediately, then that's when you want. That's where you want to do because then you're going to get symmetrical and it's a lot better blocking, in my opinion. Or what you could do is cut inside and then go outside and use Hester's hundred speed to really use it effectively so what I just did what I just said there was basically you're gonna swerve him so in and then out and then you're gonna use your hundred speed to get to the edge now, that's not always gonna work but it, you know again if you're complimenting it okay guys and then the last play we're gonna go over is the wide trail what we like to do on this is we like to go to the wide trail and all we're gonna do is we're gonna put Marshall on a drag okay our first, our first read at the snap of the ball is going to be Brandon Marshall. And if, if everyone goes away, if like the if they fall out and they don't attack the receivers, that means it's zone coverage. And that means we're going to be able to hit Brandon Marshall every single time. So here's snap. They go away. So I just quick throw it to Brandon Marshall underneath. I need to wait a little longer there. I threw it a little quick. But you just want to look. So, okay, I read there. Okay, then just drop the drag right underneath. All right. If they attack them. That means that the drag is not going to be open. So it's going to be man coverage. So if it's man coverage, what we're going to do is, okay, we look. They attack. Okay, now I'm going to throw Hester's route, Hester's uh, wheel route to the inside, pass lead to the inside. I'm going to click on, and I'm going to make a user catch. That was a very poor example of my amazing user skills. So I have horrible user skills, for those of you who, who know. <laughs> but you see here. There's the user catch. <laughs> and uh, you see it's going to be man coverage. And if you're if you're Ryan Dykes, it's gonna beat every coverage. <laughs> Shout out to Ryan Dykes, guys. If you don't know who Ryan Dykes is, uh, you need to you need to you need to stop smoking some something because he's a amazing commentator. He's, uh, check out his channel, just uh, YouTube Ryan Dykes, and it'll come up. It's also a link in the description for his channel. Check that out, guys. He's a uh, he's one of my closest friends in the Madden community uh, and a really great guy overall. He'll help you anything you need. Hit him up. Uh, he's a great player and uh, a really good guy to have in the community. Next read, uh, real quick, got a little sidetrack. 
next read on this play. That's not there, not that's there. Then the trail route, that's your that's your third read. So if the drag's not there and the wheel route's not there, or you don't trust your your user catch, like maybe I might not, you, you want to hit that trail route, okay? And then the last read on this play is the sluggo. What we're going to do is we're just going to pass lead it up, and we're just going to user catch it in the seams. And like there's they don't cover they don't cover it. Um, I guess man coverage they're they they're going to do a lot better of a job. But you see, I mean, we beat man coverage with those two routes to the right side. They're going to have some trouble now. They have to. There's a dilemma with the run stuff. But I mean, if you needed to hit it against man, it's not that bad. You see, it gets decent separation. It's just not as it's not as good in my opinion. So you know you, you want to use that as a last resort. And then of course you're running back out of the backfield is a really nice read to have in situations where. You just, need to, you just need to dump it off. So, anyways, guys, that's a single back bunch. That's a three-headed rushing attack. We can run to the right, and then we can run. Uh, we can really run right and left. So, look, we can just cut it back. That's what I love about this. It's a, it's a, it's an inside zone type of run, and it's a really effective one at that. Because if they're not balanced, if they're, if actually, if they're not over pursuing to stop it, it's gonna. It's gonna kill their defense. So, and then they're gonna start shifting. They're gonna they're gonna shift their D line to the right and their linebacks to the right. And then you're gonna have and, and then uh, this look like this look right here is where you're running in around for days because look at the numbers game. Two guys plus the center is gonna go get the middle linebacker. You're gonna have a one on one with a safety. Snap go and you see oh stupid Josh Johnson can't hand the ball off. But I mean you see the idea uh, that we're trying to create here with this end around. Um, I seriously don't know why Josh Johnson can't hand the ball off. Oh my gosh, hand the ball off! But whatever. I mean, you you just see, you see what I'm trying to say. Uh, the numbers game will be won, and, and hopefully on your console you can actually hand the ball off. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching today. I know we had a little bit of an awkward moment when he couldn't hand the ball off, but really appreciate the opportunity to be able to get on here and share with you guys once again today. And uh, you know, always a always a pleasure getting able to talk Madden with you guys, to be able to expand on on thoughts and stuff like that. And you know, I hope I didn't go too fast. I probably ended up did going too fast. I don't know. That's just my personality. Um, but. If you guys want to give me feedback, I'm more than welcome to hear criticism. I hear criticism every day, and uh, you know I try to I try to build off of it. I try to make myself better for it. So just let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you're thinking about scheme of the week. If there's something I can do to improve it, uh, you know. And, and uh, let me be honest with you guys. If I were to go slow, and this is why I talk so fast, so this is why I go fast, I go quick. If I were to go slow, slow, we would be here for days. Like we would be we would be in the single back bunch formation for like another 30 minutes, if not more, if not less than that. So. It's your decision. If you want me to go longer, I can go longer, but it's going to be a lot more of a time commitment. So that means you're going to have to commit, you know, probably 35 minutes a day to watching my videos. And I know some of you guys may not want to do that. So just be sure to let me know what you guys want to hear, what you guys want to see, and I'll try to, I'll try to do the best I can to give you guys content that you can use. So thanks for watching today. We'll see you tomorrow.